Hi, my name is Henry McClendon. I am uh, Director of Community Engagement for the International Institute for Restorative Practices Graduate School and also honored to serve as the conference chair for our 2023 annual World Conference here in Detroit. It's an amazing event. We have over 450 registrants from uh, across the globe, 12 foreign countries, 36 uh, U.S. states, and our theme is building thriving communities. You're gonna hear from people who will be sharing with you how this conference has impacted them, and we're hoping that it'll be a defining moment for them and transformational for the communities that they'll return to at the end of the conference. Thanks for tuning in. We are here at the Restorative Conference this year, 2023 in Detroit, Michigan. I've come to Detroit to join with the IIRP and the International Conference because the importance of connections and relationships, there is nothing else in the world that matters. And being able to connect with colleagues from all around the world and hear their stories about how they're creating connection and repairing harm is really, really encouraging. One of the main things that I've learned here that I'm gonna take back and implement is getting deeper into the restorative uh, questions and conversations, especially one-on-one -on -one with students to help them not only just uh, realize the harm that they may have created, but also to help move them to uh, repairing, fixing, and restoring the harm that they created with an individual. So there was a breakout room um, where she was talking about, Frida was talking about relationships and the three R's. I found that very interesting because relationships are a big part of the change that needs to be made um, when it comes to behavior in schools, um, helping children handle their, their traumas and overcome their traumas and their challenges, just being able to relate um, with them and have empathized with what they're going through. Being at this conference for me is full circle. I got my training through the IRRP and so being here today, it's really humbling and exciting. And I got to lead a session on how to engage more parents. And what was really exciting is that we were able to pack the room out, learn from one another. I was able to present some best practices based on what I've learned from leaders around the country. And um, it was really powerful by sessions end that people come up to me and say, this session was actually valuable. I have things I can go home and immediately do with my parents. And I also created a survey for them that it could actually ask parents what they wanted in terms of engagement. So really leading with the restorative concept of doing things with our families instead of two or four. Me ha parecido asombroso cómo podemos eh, mejorar las habilidades emocionales utilizando juegos tan sencillos como el Jenga para que nuestros alumnos se involucren en las emociones de todos los que están ahí. What I really loved in the conference this morning was when Dr. Ray was talking about embodiment and how we can embody certain emotions and move beyond shame and how that was connected to family dynamics and restorative justice. I really appreciated his perspective. This has been refreshing to see how families matter, how the collaborative partners in our community matters, um, and also kind of the concept of our professional inside school world and then the outside world. Um, so getting lots of tools and lots of ways to work with kids. Um, is always fascinating to me. And the one takeaway that we have this year is collaboration, collaboration, collaboration. We know that we cannot do any of our work without solid collaborations. Sometimes that means that we have to humble ourselves uh, to follow the instructions of somebody else, even though we may not think that those are the best directions or ways that we're practicing. But once the collaboration piece comes in, then that allows opportunity to build the relationship, practice restorative practices through your differences with the collaboration, as well as empower your program to maximize the resources that you have for your programs all through collaboration. Um, so just the overall restorative practice piece, uh, we want to kind of implement that uh, uh, within our structure, however we can, uh, because it is uh, very beneficial and it is very enlightening for uh, Wisconsin. But there's something really special about the group of people that gather for restorative practices, conferences, and just the passion that's in the room, the excitement that's in the room, and the inspiration. And so this actually serves as 
something that re-energizes me. It makes me feel rededicated, recommitted to the mission of building communities. And so I'm just taking back with me that little bit of extra um, energy and pizzazz um, and zest to really continue this great work. So I'm excited and super thankful to have had a chance to be here. We are happy to be here in this larger community sharing ideas with everyone here. Thanks for having us. Thank you so much, Jim.